guys ready for the episode? Oh yeah, yeah. We I forgot right. we're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That? Oh, 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 that's cool. <laughs> Mine's got what is that? Hound's tooth? No. Mine's a double cylinder. It's not. It's just this weird. I thought it was twelve dollars on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Squires Station. I'm your host, Davey Squires. And oh, today on this yeah. episode, we got the boys, the boys from Home Dog and Stars <laughs> coming in hot. Hey, everybody, how's We're it going? Live Ooh. at Eminem's Tap oh. House here in Barberton, Ohio. Oh. Ohio. Hi. Oh. That's thank you, right? Ohio is good morning. Good morning. I knew that. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Ohio to It's funny, we have a song called. <laughs> Never heard of it. I think it's about the state, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> How are you boys doing this fun? Ohio year? is in the state. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio is an underlying subconscious state. It's actually a country, if you think it's about it. It's actually the man. whole of the Ohio is the center of the wheel, and everything else outside of it is just larger rotation on the spokes. You know what he's right. He's, he's right. It's like your center. Of the I actually wheel. I read We're all this in a book somewhere. All right, we got we got to tell him like before this happened. And we were part of a mixed martial arts thing. We <laughs> <laughs> had a ring right outside the ball, and uh, yeah, we beat each other. As up you can pretty see, good. The dojo. we were all in pretty good shape. I feel like dojo. This is walking out Carl right we now. We do a lot <laughs> for in the some dojo, reason. You know, it's kind of right there. But some the of other us guys, use the staff, you some should of us see use what happened to the guys we fought. The nunchucks. Because you as know, you can see, some we're fine. Music sword. Music sword. I remember that. And, and the whistle. Remember the whistle? There was that whistle. That whistle. It was and one of those ones that goes. It was, it, was, it, was, it was like a. It was like Tinkerbell was playing. <laughs> it. Like a slide whistle. Yes. <laughs> That's the. That's why Tinkerbell is known to play the slide whistle. I didn't know there was a technical term for it. Well, how'd you guys meet? Like, what the fuck? You guys are just... Oh, you know, that's yeah, actually a really funny I, story. I went, I went down to the Browns game today Class with Carl, and then Don showed up later. And then we came down here. What? That's how we met. That's, that's how, how you guys met. met. Yeah, just, just yeah. this afternoon. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Well, that's how we met today. Oh. We were doing the thing, and oh. we're like, hey, we're going to go in. Sure Davey's going to interview us, and that's that was... That's not we what We met. Wow. So, uh, all right, you want the real deal. Mike needs to like tell this years ago. All right, these guys met before I met them. Tell your story, guys. Well, our story started. Well, our story started uh, many years ago. Carl and I were, uh, we were uh, toy trains that were turned into wolves by a witch. And <laughs> she's the mayor of uh, the she town. She cursed us for a thousand years. A thousand years, Carl has to be the mayor, so. It, besides from all that, we were playing music together, <laughs> and because it had to be done. Well, it all kind of started off with, let, let me just interject here, because <laughs> the true story is equally as Is funny. this related to the, the Wizard of Oz by chance? Uh, I don't know. It, where in a hopeful way. It depends on were they the taking <laughs> acid in the Wizard of Oz? No. Yes, probably, <laughs> No, what, what, what really happened was, uh, you know, me and Don met just walking down the street one day. He was smoking a cigarette, and I was smoking a cigarette. We made eye contact, and we were like, I was like, I, Whoa, bet, I bet I could get a, you another cigarette from that guy. I was like, I bet he would give me a cigarette. If and I asked, I him, asked him for a cigarette, and he asked me for a cigarette. I said, no, I didn't have any. He said, yes, he had I, one. So I gave him one. Even though I was asking him for one. And I ripped the filter out, and he was like, whoa, you ripped the filter out? Like, that's out? pretty hardcore, like, man. Yeah, I was like, it's just what is, I'm trying to get as high as I can, you know? He was like, wow, I've never seen, you want to start a band? I was like, yes. Yes. And, that, that and we started as slam poetry, you know? And, mm -hmm. and he was in the 80s, you know, like hair I metal. I was doing like hair metal. <laughs> <laughs> God, have we told the truth yet today? No. <laughs> Wait, yes. you were in a hair metal band? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Uh, like 80s rock, you know. I like, mean, I wasn't in the, the band the, Tough Love, Judas but Priest, I was like a big you know fan I mean. of the band. How much and hair? <laughs> Tough Love. So much hair. Tough Love. So much hair. <laughs> Using, trading, I gotta give love liquid, tough to Tough Love. Trading liquid gold, <laughs> you know what I mean? Tough Love. Tough Love. How'd you guys meet Mike? 
Oh, well, now that is actually a funny story. So, so here it was. I was outside of the corner picking up cigarette butts, and so was Carl <laughs> outside of the corner picking up cigarette butts. Uh-huh. And we were both like pigeons. We both like saw the <laughs> one and was like, Dah! and we butted heads. I was sleeping on the bench. Otherwise, he'd have been. In the I had I had like a hoodie that I found. He'd and, already gathered up most of the good butts, so me and Mike were scavenging. Right, 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 right. He was he had he slept over this fat pocket of butts. And so me and Carl were scavenging over like a McDonald's French fry. I heard him. I heard him, and I was like, guys, here you can each have a he cigarette. He just pulled a I, handful. He had I actual these, whole cigarettes. I was cigarettes. at Walmart yeah, earlier cigarette. flying yeah. a sign. You know what I mean? I was like, dude, man, really. I, I flew a sign at Walmart for like two hours. I had my dog with me, you know what I mean? There was love. Was that Marvel? Yeah. Was it, 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 <laughs> everything just boom, 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 boom. So it's like, how am I to not share my butts with you? I got a whole pocket full of roaches pocket in the G. Roaches. Cigarette roaches. <laughs> and C major. <laughs> in a tiny bag, you know, and I'll always share the wealth, you know. And then I don't. I don't. Even so then, what, what happened was uh, after Carl and I resolved our differences over that cigarette, but we walked into the corner, and I was like, Carl, I think I should throw an open mic here at the corner. I already talked to Kobe, the owner. He's like, do whatever you want, Mike. So I said, like, Carl, what do you think? And I'm so like, dude, I got you, this friend. You we said, play music. Oh, well, you said, you said, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should. <laughs> yeah, that was. yeah. But then, like, I still have the business later. card you gave me, man. It's, it's <laughs> that is card. some funny <laughs> shit. <laughs> it was all. Uh, yeah. I wish we had that with us. I wish. It, I was like, I'll send that to you if you want to do that. I don't like, even remember. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to photo scan that. Card I don't even again. remember us writing that on there, but we both. This was like the best like card. It was like there was like it started out as I one mean, card, <laughs> and then there was like two other cards written the on it. <laughs> like, he's like, scribbled he's in like it's a card. Here's like all this. Yeah. Damn. Oh man. Yeah, that was good. One. That's, that's one of my favorite. But then like two days later, year. Mike asked me the same question, and I was like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right. open Mike. And I think it was open maybe Mike. an entire week after that. Yep. We were at the corner, and uh, again, Mike asked me, you know, thinking about doing an open mic down here, and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can't really remember how many times this... I mean, you might have said, nice! Nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there was a definitely noise. a nice there was a noise in there. Once. There was a noise in there. Um, noise. But then, so it happened. <laughs> That's a Carl move. Finally, Mike put on the uh, open mic. He opened the mic. He did. He opened the mic to actually a lot of people in this town, which is, is yeah, it's cool. been a great, great. Yeah, there wasn't much going on musically. He don't know it, but he he kicked it off. This guy. He <laughs> opened up a can of worms. He opened up a can of whoop ass. He, he kicked off the game. Oh yeah. He kicked off the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see whoop ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sheriff in oh, town. No. This <laughs> town should. This town. Just calls for it, you know what I mean? Yeah. This town is ready. It was about the time they put Indiana. up the lights down Indiana. the street. This town, thing, like, you know, it was perfect. how long ago like, was that? That who knows? Like, no, it's it set it up for October, it, though, you know what I mean? 18. 18. So, okay. this, so an October will be the, <laughs> the third year since we all. I can still hear the rifle fire in my ears. 18, yeah, 15. in the jazz club, you know what I mean? Like, that they should still be here, you know. <laughs> But nobody was doing it except Mike. So uh, I was like, yeah, dude, like, it's set up. Like, let's kick it off. We need to fucking, it's party time. Don't do it. How long have you guys been alive exactly? (laughs) Well, now. It depends uh, on who you ask. It depends on who's talking, you know. (laughs) According to the show we used to do on YouTube, I used to live for (laughs) a thousand years as the mayor. Not mayor, mayor. Like, of course. He may oh, or may not be the mayor. I may or may not be the mayor. It depends on who you ask. If you ask me, he's the mayor. Yeah. And I, I'm a bearer of the flag. Uh, you know, which I'm one cursed of the, me I to live the for a thousand flag. years. Nobody wants to live that long. Men only live like 200, 300 years. At most. You know, around. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I concur. And that's why this episode is sponsored today by Dice. 
You never know. Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> Are you guys familiar with his nursery rhymes? You never know who you're going to land on when you I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make. I'm going to do this for Davey. Hickory Dickory Dock. This was my boo. The clock struck due. I dropped my goo. Hickory Dickory Dock. Now y'all can do that what you want. I bleep the fuck out of it, but Andrew Dice Clay we should is the post. reason why we're all here right now. We should now. post an unedited version. This episode is brought to you by Dice Store! Dice Store! Dice Store. Dice. Never forget dice. about cards, everybody. I don't, I don't know if you need the... You I mean, guys, cards are cool. When you got dice going heavy, sometimes you just gotta pull out your cards and be like, who am I playing today? Well, there is a lot more cards in a deck than face on a die. You never know uh, <laughs> who that, process out of my fucking head. Who the Russian roulette is gonna land on? It could be anybody, any day. You know. Um, holy shit! Oh, but where were we? Oh yes. Yeah, so, okay. Okay, okay, we're so we're everyone we're take a die. All right. Everyone take <laughs> one. My die Stop. Okay. Just okay. shut up. What do we do? Now close your eyes and imagine the number you want it to be, and then open your eyes. Okay. Ready? Four. Two. Boom. That's not the number I wanted right. to be. I wanted 40, Mike. I got a 5. I got the one I wanted. I didn't want 5. So, you motherfuckers, man. I got I two. Got the, I mean... I got the one I wanted. If 5 means high 5, then yeah. 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 All right. I did get the number I wanted. I just didn't realize it until now. But so... Uh, yeah. What, what, where were we on this? Well, we? here's where, uh, so, after, you know, the cigarette butts and, uh, yeah, and the open mic and uh, all that fun stuff. And the, and the, um, we the did gravy. a thing, we played a show, well, it was, it was a podcast, actually, this is our second now. Wow. How about that? The PLX uh, show. The oh, first yeah. one was our first time ever actually doing anything live together. Actually, let me take a step back. Take a step back. Let me take a step back. Back to the open mics. So me and Don, uh, we played a ween cover, and Mike was just drooling. I mean, he's, just, he's like, I love ween, and we're like, we love ween. Ween is a weird band. That's pretty much how it happened. And that's that's basically what did it. Yeah. So what, was the, what was the song though? It was it was Ocean Man. Right? Ocean Man. It was Ocean Man. Wow. Ocean Man. Ocean Man. Take my hand. Copyright license on that. We then we all three just went like we should be in a band. Might be sued for that. And we gave like instead of a high five, this weird awkward headbutt thing, and it hurt. I remember it hurt. And then next thing I know, we were on a show wearing big hats. Fucking yeah. So was this like a time skip? I'm confused. Like we don't know. We don't exactly know. We we tend to jump in and out out of time. Our our hearts are in it. But the logic doesn't make any sense. Do you know what they say in Kentucky, Carl? What are they saying? It's Kentucky? making dollars, though. Well, <laughs> well, what are they saying, Kentucky? Well, well, well. That, that's it. That's what they say. Well, well. So yeah, we uh, so so we grew out. Basically, we started hanging out. We got like playing, ten albums. We, we we started hanging out and playing some songs together, <laughs> and we did Mexican radio. And, uh, was so was and that's one of the songs we played on that PLX thing. Radio. Like you at the it was super fun. Uh, and we did that on that that that, 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 that other podcast show. And they they ended up busting out like the the little sound maker thing, the same one they use in a. Uh, Ozzy. I, 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 Donna, Donna. Oh, that, 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 yeah, that, 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 that thing. That thing. That that thing. <laughs> Which they use in Mexican radio. Yeah. Uh, we actually did it when the cameras hey, weren't rolling just to kind of like warm up and sound check. And after they were done like filming everything, like, yeah, would you guys mind just doing that again? Because that was really awesome. Wow. So then everyone just joined in, they're clapping, shaking. Yeah, everybody had like, the, the, the crew of it had like shit, you know, like 
percussion and artist it, also. It was around. at that point that we realized, yeah, I think we're a fucking band now. Yeah, dude. It's an easy <laughs> band to be in. It's like it's natural. It just happened naturally. Well, for the sake of the podcast, I, I don't know why I didn't do this before, but introduce you guys. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't even, I forgot the total, you know, introduction of what you guys do in the band. Did you boys like go first? We're called Home Dog and the Stars. I'm Mike. I'm Carl. This is Donald Wanu. I play drums, kind of. In the washboard <laughs> sometimes. What? <laughs> really? Oh, it's a thing. We write and make our music. That that's really it. I Here mean. in B Town. What what model is your what, what, what model is your keyboard on? I I, I, I saw uh, that. I forget the model. What is that? Um, I picked up that keyboard on the way to Carl's cheap, house one day. Literally. <laughs> like we gotta start playing music. This and was, was uh, okay. So this is one of the true backstories <laughs> to how the the music kind of started. Um, you know, people get into weird depressive states of mind. And we're like, fuck. Remember when we played music a year ago? Yeah. That 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 really that was really cool. That that kept my mind occupied and busy on things. Yeah. Hey, I got Tuesdays off. You wanna make it music therapy day? That's what we called it. And Don was like, yeah. So on his way over he picked up this hundred dollar I can't even think of what the brand is. Casio. Yeah. It is Casio. Yeah, it's like a hundred dollar Casio with built-in speakers. <laughs> it has like built-in beats and rhythms. I don't know what model it is, but we're not trying to shield the Casio. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, I mean, it's that, a good, that don't get cheap wrong, ass keyboard. Is that sound is perfect. Of our, pretty much <laughs> our fucking sound. At least definitely, definitely what brought, Don brought to the table for sure, man. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, like uh, just that is that. Shitty little keyboard <laughs> yeah. that it, Don throws around. It does like so little, like but a, so much. Like it's a Nerf football. Not a Nerf football. I'm talking <laughs> like Nerf football. Yeah. Nerf football. Like, like the one. Yeah. See, that's yeah. part of why I don't want to invest in a really nice thing. Because like, not you're going to take as care of it. <laughs> as you can. I'm kind of rough Cassius. with my stuff, oh, man. man. It's a beast. I mean, for what it is, that thing it does. Hell. I, I remember it one time I had it over my place and I knocked one of the white key off of it. I'm like shit, and it's pop right back Just in pop place. Pop it right back in, no problem. Boom. Those those things were made to last. Yeah, man. it's invincible. It's all... And I think it has MIDI capability, doesn't it? Is it MIDI? Uh, capable? MIDI, bro. Do you really? I don't like, even know. I don't know how these words work at all. I'm a drummer like that. So, you know? MIDI. I just I live for the MIDI. The MIDI. <laughs> I know that I that keyboard spent half the of moment. its life in the back of my car. The MIDI momentum. I think I dated a girl named MIDI. And, and, uh, MIDI. MIDI committee. I remember committee. that. MIDI committee. Uh, oh, yeah, that we were just talking, like, about hey, that, hey, we're just talking about that. We were just talking about that. Comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hands are cold. It's all about because I was drinking this ice cold beer provided by MS Tap House. It's all about comedy. Comedy. Um, you play the bass too, Don. That's crazy. Like while doing that shit. Yeah, these guys like, are amazing musicians. They play every instrument like ever. I just slap on a box. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool to watch Don and Mike trade the bass and guitar back and forth throughout the set. It's fun it's, to be able to do it, that. It, it, it's, it's, it's fun cool. to be able to do that. I love playing music with my friends and uh, hanging out and having some food and having some drinks and having a good time. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. What what <laughs> what made you guys play like music? What what got you guys to play that music? Uh, or just music like like our music? You mean or like just our music, music or or um, like how we started off in music? Which one are you saying? Like 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 uh Okay, for me, like playing music was just like my mother loved Motown and uh, she loved soul music, and I always had the bass. The bass is always like part of my life. I heard it in, my, in, in the womb. I'm sure I did. And uh, so I grew up with that sensibility and that love for music. That was like the angel music for me was soul music, you know, and that mm-hmm. like, like like that. And then I got older and just started listening to different kinds of music. And 
I tried. I, I found a guitar out on the curb one day when I was about 14. It was terrible. It had it's probably probably about an inch bow in the middle of it. And I was sitting there trying to play it, and I was like, man, this. Why do people play? Well, how can people play music? <laughs> As if that's how every guitar. Because I thought this is how all guitars <laughs> yeah, are. are you know, like, <laughs> the fuck? So he had a bow in it, you know, like it was a waterlogged acoustic guitar. And then I, I um, a little bit later, um, my the, the place where I work, Terry asked me, the, the owner of Fiesta Pizza, took me to buy a, an electric guitar right after I graduated from high school, and. Uh, I got a Gibson Les Paul copy, and I learned some chords. I learned some simple songs like uh, "Can't Explain" by the Who and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, and uh, I, I was like jumping Jack Flash and cocaine. I was playing that kind of stuff. But then I was like, I can't play like Jimmy Page. Oh, I'm so discouraged. I gotta go. To, um, so I went in the Navy. <clears throat> when I got in the Navy. I got to see bands like Iron Maiden and like see my close and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the, the bass in Iron Maiden, you know? And uh, like the way like Steve Harris would just play those triplets all the time and stuff. So I bought a bass when I was in the Navy. And then when I got out of the Navy, I played some metal bands. Just like, you know, your Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, Dio, you know, all that stuff, Metallica. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I did that for a while. And then I got some more original bands, like where we just sort of like kind of do '90s kind of shit, you know? Yeah. I I I, I just said that because I can't think of a way to move through this story easier than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but then I, I stopped doing music for a long time. You know, I just I would get together and like like band like living room jams and stuff like that. And and uh, Later. I just bye Mike. Much love. See you, Mike. And, and and then you know I I, I, just, I was just like doing like I, I learned but I learned how to play guitar better as I was a bass player and uh, and I wrote a, some a backlog of songs that I thought were pretty good and that was pretty much the, the point where I met these guys because because here we fast forward and like I said you know Carl open mic yeah yeah so so Carl brings Don to the open mic first time that we did the open mic and uh, you know, that's where we, we all started from at that point and it was the PLX live show right <laughs> right with the pink hats and everything we did. yep, yep. <laughs> I gotta rewatch that I don't know. <laughs> link we, down below and then what happened was for me the moment I realized I could really be in this band was when Okay, so we didn't, we had we had not written any songs together before. We were just doing like a jam practice. At jam, house like playing Mexican yeah. radio and stuff like that. And uh, so uh, Carl's dog was sick one day, and uh, so he had to take George to the vet. So me and Don were sitting on Carl's porch, and I told Don the story that happened about a week before that, where I was I was hiking through Silver Creek Park, and I got to the first little creek there, and there was this couple, and they were tripping. And, and uh, they were like, ah, hello, Bob. Hello, child of God. I'm like, hey, Silver it's... Creek, though, man. I'm like, what's it's up? A good place How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, you know, say, good to see you. That's what I've done. Have a good time. You know? I can't blame you. And I started walking around this loop, and, and it was humanly impossible. <laughs> That's all I can possibly say. Because I was going at a good pace, listening to some Sid Barrett in my earbuds. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I crossed across that, that access road that goes down to the T. We're looking at the lake there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I crossed across that path. You know, Davies. Yeah, yeah. How many? Yeah. I've run into Davies. I have yeah. run into Davies Squires <laughs> literally two times <laughs> in the last two months <laughs> walking this way. Which is actually a lot because it's a big. Yeah, it's a big metro. Yeah. This yeah. isn't some place that like, you yeah. just go, oh, hey, how are yeah. you? It's like, yeah. a, what are the odds that we're on the? Th but anyways, yeah. so so I, I'm 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 walking across this path, going across the road, and this girl's coming down the road. The girl who is humanly fucking impossible. <laughs> made, it's no the same way. girl I saw earlier on that loop, and she's coming down the road 
<laughs> towards me, which just means she had to go further up the path than I did. She's walking down the road, no yeah. shoes on, dirty hippie dress, peasant dress. This makes me feel better about my. And she's like, I'm, I'm walking across the road and I'm listening to this fuck, you know, Sid Barrett. No, excuse me, excuse me, can you help me? <laughs> I, I, I pulled my earbuds out and she's like, I look over at her, she's like, I, I've lost my boyfriend. I remember them, you know, because like, how did this happen so you damn? Were, what the fuck? You how did be this behind what? me? How did, yeah. How did this happen so quickly? What the fuck? He's like, <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> what? Yeah. So he's like, I lost my boyfriend. You know, I didn't know. I didn't. Yeah. What's up? You know. Like, yeah. But anyway, so I'm like, well, I, I remember you guys. I remember running into you guys earlier on the path. So I just walked down the road. I, I cut the trail off. I just walked right to the parking lot down there. The ones across from the lake, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and so she, as we're walking along, she's telling me like, she's like, I don't think my boyfriend. My, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have time to eyes. She's like, I don't think my boyfriend loves me. You know, like Aww. he's just he, he just like you know he doesn't respond to me anymore. Aww. And she's like dump. And I'm this is like about half a mile to the parking lot, you know. And she's like. You know, like, like, I, I don't know. He he didn't respond to one of my text messages. Do you think he's cheating on me? Is that what relationships have turned into I, at this point? Like, what you, the fuck? Because because he's hurt my feelings before. You know, just this, oh, is, yeah. this is normal human shit. You know, I'm not making fun of it. You know, but like, it's like, uh, but like, you know, like, <laughs> and I'm like, well, no, not necessarily. It doesn't mean he's cheating on you. Yeah. But she lost her shoes. That was the thing. Was that she she was walking barefoot she down the road at this point. Why did she lose her shoes? She was hey, walking. There lies the question. <laughs> that's part of our song. Do you ask her? It's gonna change. <laughs> yeah, that's a, so our song. A million times. A million times is is, is based on that incident. Just the whole time she's like bitching about her boyfriend, right. and I'm like. You know, I'm just trying to like, put the fire out and just like, get her back where she has to go, you know. And then all of a sudden, you now she's like thinking she's been ditched and everything, like just, just ditched, abandoned, a scorned woman, just... right? A scorned woman. And then we get about a hundred yards from the parking lot. She sees him and starts running towards him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so that's I thought, man, that's a great idea for a song. Things change. So, Nothing so, changes. It all stays the same. And yeah, so, yeah. I was touched by it, you know. And, and so another fight. So that's the song that, that Don and I sat down on Carl's porch and wrote. Oh my God! You've been here a million times before. That makes that cool. The cool thing about that song is that it's like <laughs> that's I, where that song comes. Where it started out when I was just, yeah. I was playing an A chord. And Carl had, was getting ready to take his dog out to the vet. And he said, that's it was like Pink Floyd. I'm like... It was cool. It had like this I, really I didn't, nice little... I didn't think it was that, that, like, oh. that good. But then he pointed it out to me. Like, that's yeah, pretty good. So that I, we developed it off of that, you know. Like, I, so I would have just yeah. started it, you know. That's Carl I, said... I'd take my dog to the vet, come back maybe like two hours later. And Mike and Don are like, we oh, have yeah. a song. We oh, wrote yeah. a song. And we was... And it was, it was done. There, 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 there was like 30, sorry, too many words, uh, 10 words away from being complete entirely. Like they had lyrics, the music, everything was just pop, 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 pop. Oh. That's awesome. And that is... And that's where I decided, hey, I, I can probably like check this out for a while, you know. That, that was the, the thing for yeah. me. That was like, like, we got a pretty good vibe here. Yeah, this yeah. something right. happened, you know. Well, you guys sound great. Mm. Like that, you know. I, I've only seen you guys once, but that one time, you guys have a whole different vibe to you. Kind of this, you know, very just, just interesting. That's the only way I can describe you guys. Just interesting. You guys like, you guys have a different sound. Like it's just like this, this kind of froggy, but yet just, just it, it's simple yeah, yet froggy. Kind of it's kind of yeah. It's very interesting. It's our our most recent thing is uh, we're calling it Gonzo Rock, like uh, Hunter S. Thompson, you know, Gonzo Report. Yeah, it's Gonzo 
so wrong. It's the closest it's, thing we yeah, can Yeah, yeah. I, I like to call Nothing it. really makes any sense whatsoever. I like to call it post-genre because, like, everything we're doing is just, like... It's, just, it's outside it's of post, the... Yeah. Post-genre, and, that, and, and I love pretentious titles to start off a musical movement. <laughs> it's kind of like Frank Zappa-ish you guys do. Because You're not the first person to say that, that actually. Because it's like, you guys kind of mesh a different, like, a lot of different genres together, like Zappa did. And in these surprising, out-of-the-box ways that I think kind of relates more to Zappa than anything else. Hell yes. That's, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah. I can live with that. <laughs> yeah. No, I was listening to some Zappa last night driving home. Uh, from, or I'm listening to. From, oh God, it was, it was, well, I was listening to The Dan, and uh, Spotify put on this related playlist. Well, actually, I was listening to Yes. And Spotify was playing this. Oh shit! Carl. <laughs> well, yeah, Spotify put together. This, they they put together okay. this playlist of Yes and um, Zappa and uh, Jefferson Starship and, and and the Dan and all these different like seventies and sixties kind of that's jazz that and shit. Yeah, yeah. Don, do you like yeah. silly Dan, don't you? Yeah, yeah silly Dan. Dan's Dan. pretty fucked up. Uh, <laughs> Dan! Dan. Silly Dan's really good. I'm like, what were they doing? Because it's so cheerful, but like yeah. the words are like... Yeah! Yes. <laughs> you look into it, it's like, oh, whoa! Whoa! Shit. Like, yeah, they knew what was up. Yeah. yeah. Silly oh, Dan's too good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With horns <laughs> and female singers. Mm-hmm. Mm. All that goes are you on are you reeling time. in the ears? Like, are you stowing away the time? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's like face value. It sounds cheerful. Look into the lyrics a little bit. It's like, not oh. so cheerful, right? It sounds. It's really. But really it's cool. nice because yeah. you could still like you could still like yeah. dance to it as a groove into <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like it's like, just on, like shit. Yeah. Yeah. your hand, like do 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 do. You can take down whatever level we want. You know, like you can just you want to be light and cheerful. You want to be deep with it. Like the United, you know, it's not. Oh, yeah. They don't really intersect. I mean, it's, it's like, like a parallel thing. Playing the they piano, really, you, like, know, you know, like when your moment is just reduced to like what I'm gonna do with this moment is like press a note and try to make something sound nice, mm-hmm. like, and then other people hear it and it like relaxes them. Like music and love are so strongly intertwined. Like when you broadcast that signal, like, yeah. then you find other people to amplify the signals, like. like there's something that really cool that can happen with that, you know? Oh, yeah. You can use it for good. Absolutely. People use it for evil. People use music for evil. You don't have to use music for evil. It's not all subjective. That's true. Well, like in the dance case, it's like, you know, a lot of their songs sound cheerful, but, you know, you could, you could take that in a more general perspective towards the band Steely Dan, where it's like, you know... It, it looks like they're they're like a big happy band, but there's a lot of dark stuff that ha- took place between you know Walter Becker and, and Donald Fagan. Oh yeah, and at least it's yeah. real. You know oh, what I mean? Oh yeah, it's real. You can tell it's real. Mm, and yeah, oh, there was some behind the scene. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was thinking about it today. Like you can definitely tell when a band is putting their heart into it and like telling it like it is. Uh, compared to to some artists that's just like you know doing it for fame or money like you can you can definitely tell within even the production value or whatever it's like you can definitely tell if it is for money or if it's you know something more than that it's just for the fun and the love okay? there's a fine line there you can tell too somebody you know? owns it yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah Art and art, you know, sounds it's a lot It's one of those like things where you're like, yeah, I'm art, not going to be art. mad if I make money off of this. But at yeah, the same time, it's... Yeah. It has to make you happy first. Mm-hmm. Right. You're doing yeah. it for the right If reasons. it's fun, then it should be fun for everybody. You, sh- you, sh- right. you don't have to force fun. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't, <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. right. If you're forcing it, well, it's... It's a little weird. You yeah. Know? It's not fun for at least one yeah. person. It's already not fun. Like, no, this is, this is fun, right? This is fun. Like, okay. Fun, like, right? He's so saying that. Like, I just it is corrupt by design. <laughs> oh, it's like, no, dude. Like, I'm uh, not twisting your arm. Like, it's really good. It's having a good time. <laughs> 
<laughs> you like this. You like this, don't you? No, not now that you're talking. No, you do like this. You do like this. You're gonna like this. Or some you know you're gonna like this. It just is. You must like this. Yes. Yeah. Mandatory, mandatory best band ever. Mandatory stars. Did we ever say that? <laughs> mandatory hug. Stars. I don't know. If mandatory we, high fives. Never get to... <laughs> mandatory high fives. <laughs> mandatory. Woo! Mandatory high fives. Let's go. Right in there. <laughs> Drink. Drink. I wasn't able to. Oh, the wait, elbow. wait. Uh, but no, but in all seriousness, uh, we do have an album coming out here within the next like uh, three to four weeks. Tops. The Magic Carpet it depends. Corner Store. It's at Turnover. It'll be out uh, probably by the time I. It's, we went through the same the, the yeah, same program you went through. I got it. Was it two three weeks? Once yeah. It's all finalized and done. So our artwork is there. Our music is there. It's gonna be cool, or you're gonna hate it. It's one of the two. <laughs> You're gonna have a strong reaction to our music. We figure that if you hate us very strongly, that's a good thing. That's still as good as yeah. because because it's still a strong reaction. Uh, look at Howard Stern. Why would you? The majority like, of his fans hate him. Well, not fans, but viewers, yeah. listeners. They listen just so that he can go. Oh, this son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's like it's yeah. We're going to give your you're going to give us a strong reaction. Uh, hate it, love it. We don't really care. We're just doing it to have fun. Uh, we're debating on even selling the CDs or just giving them out. You know, we just like doing it. It's it's just fun. Yeah, and that's the greatest thing about it. Music is fun. It really is. I'm the Youngest in the group as far as music goes, because I just started this five years ago. Don got kicked out of a band, and I'm like, well, I like Don. Don's a pretty cool dude. I'm like, I'll be your drummer. I mean, I don't have drums, but I played snare drum for a year in fifth grade, so I should be able to play the drums. Mm -hmm. And then... There's Don. And that's it. Alright, you got some of this, Carl? Oh, alright. Ba 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 He has a pint to share with you, but not the way you want. He gets all up inside your ear and sprays you when he talks. Flirts you with the barmaid as he leaves you with the tab. He smells just like a hobo, but he has the gift for jab. Here's a slappy clan, make sloppy, you were my dear friend. But you were like a dumpster fire that never seemed to end. Once the beard starts flowing, your arse will be a showing. We've weathered this storm many times, and surely we will again. And that's just the first verse. Uh, I can't remember the rest, otherwise we would probably sing it. Uh, Alright, there's one verse that goes around. <laughs> You're not sure where he's going. But you're damn sure, sure where he's been. <laughs> That's all I got. That's yeah. all I got. <laughs> you're not sure where he's going, but you're damn sure where he's been. You're not just sure. Just what it is that you'll be stepping Step in. in. He no. never hits the urinal. It's, it's like he's fucking lying. lying. Indeed, he gets it everywhere. He Doesn't never seems to mind. mind. Here's the slappy, clammy, sloppy, you're my dear friend. But you were like a dumpster fire that never seemed to end. Once the beer starts flowing, your arse will be a showing. We've weathered this storm many a time, and surely will again. I'm glad that was captured on film and on the video. Oh, so. that's awesome. Oh my god. With that, I gotta end the episode here. We're I feel like that yeah. here. Thank you guys so much, and thank you Eminem's Tab House for doing this. Yes. This is amazing. Thank you, M &M's this is amazing. Oh my god. Jamie Full Squires. Falcon the Stars. Ah, oh my boom. god. Boom. Grand finale. Grand finale. Let's do it. Ah. Oh. Hey, you guys can check out Home Dog and the Stars in the description below, as well as all my links and stuff. Thank you for watching the episode, and I'll catch you next week. David Squire Show. Bye. 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 Bye.